The Cinque Terre, declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO, are formed by the villages of Monte Rosso al Mare, Vernazza, Corniglia, Manarola and Rio Maggiore. They are five villages that, situated on a stretch of almost inaccessible sheer coastline between the Mesco Promontory and the Montenero Promontory, form a great marine national park. Here, tourism, of the kind that is dedicated to the cult of beauty, to the discovery of a land and sea without comparison, strengthens as year by year generations of tourists from the whole world coming tides flowing the length of the Cinque Terre almost all year. Gripping onto the overhanging hills in the hand-hewn terraces that the men and women of this place struggled to tear out of the ground, creating this fabulous, breathtaking ecosystem, extensive vine groves flourish producing a vintage and now rare sweet wine called Chacatra. Monte Rosso al Mare is the most western of the Cinque Terre, spread out in an inlet closed by a series of low hills that gently descend towards the sea where olives, lemons and grapes are grown. It's a structure, the colours of the houses in the oldest part of the village bring to mind a fishing village while the area around the station has the characteristics of residential tourism. The entire location can count on an ample hotel and restaurant receptivity, and the extremely well-equipped beaches offer the certainty of sea and sunbathing in total relaxation. Vernazza appears fitted into the steep cliff coastline, and its beautiful church built on a rock in 1318 dominates the sea, the village is typically seafaring, as is its little bay dotted with rocks. Along a path that climbs up, crossing the Mediterranean bush, we reach Corniglia, situated at the edge of a hollow cultivated with vine groves. The village looks into the horizon in one majestic glance. The tall and narrow houses of Manarola dominate a little harbour, awarding it the unmistakable connotation of fishing village. Continuing along the path that follows the coast, we arrive on the Via dell'Amore, or Path of Love, characteristic and famous walk that threads its way along the sheer cliff face. It is an incomparable scenario. The path leads practically to Rio Maggiore, nestled between the hills and the sea. We can walk around and admire the colourful houses and its narrow, winding streets and alleys. West of the Cinque Terre, beyond the Mesco promontory, we find other locations with major natural attractions like Levanto, an elegant town endowed with receptive tourist structures and wide beaches. Bonasola, gracious seaside village nestled between the hills, Framura and Deva Marina, situated on the border of the province of Genova, also receive tourists, both Italian and foreign, in every season, who enjoy the temperate climate and the interesting excursions that bring to an end a journey in the charm and purity of a natural, unresolved mystery that is never forgotten. <laughs>